to our next session on leading in the COVID pandemic and tips for leaders. And welcome to Karen Patterson. Karen is currently the New South Wales branch president, and we're pleased to have her uh, share with us today. Her, her day job is she is the director of capability and culture with the New South Wales Clinical Excellence Commission. She has um, many years experience in many different fields in policy and education, practice development and governance. Um, she also is an experienced board member and a valued member of our New South Wales branch as she leads it as the president. Enjoy this presentation from Karen Patterson. Hello, my name is Karen Patterson. I'm a fellow of the college and president of the New South Wales branch council. Neil put out a call to those leading and managing through COVID-19 to share our experiences and just to connect together. So my role, I'm a director at the New South Wales Clinical Excellence Commission. I also do some work with the Consumer Health Forum of Australia, co-facilitating consumer and clinician partnerships and collaboration. I'm also experiencing social isolation, so isolated from those I love, from my children, my parents, my granddaughter, and the joy of spending more time with my husband. So I've taken a few notes just to keep me on track. So when thinking about COVID-19, this quote by Julian Stodd cracks it for me. Not everyone can carry the same weight, but the entire weight has to be carried. So not only have we been working together, carrying that weight to flatten that curve, what has happened is that together, we've also flattened some long-standing hierarchies and shortened some bureaucratic processes. We've showed how we can actually reorganize ourselves quickly. We can change how we work, we can change where we work, and we can focus our attention, bringing resources and caring for those who are in urgent need at this time. We're rediscovering what is important and what we need from each other. So one example, so I've been invited to support a team of clinicians, managers and educators who've come together across disciplines, across organisations, private, government, non-government, and across states under the banner of the pandemic kindness movement. So the movement is framed around Maslow's hierarchy of needs with the addition of leadership actions and behaviours threading through the framework. It's about bringing resources to the front line right now. Because we all recognise, we've all experienced the cognitive load of crisis, the noise. It's hard to listen. It's hard to think. We're all different, yet we're all human. This has given me the opportunity to partner with others to develop some resources for our clinicians and managers at the front line of healthcare who've been called to lead. It's about helping them to be vulnerable, helping them to be kind, to be agile, and to be of service. It's about right now. It's so we can carry our load and step up and lead when it's our turn and not be afraid to say, when that load gets too heavy. Because the thing about heavy loads is that they are better carried together. So COVID-19 to me has revealed our humanity in many ways. My heart goes out to those who have experienced loss. I also feel joy for those who've experienced true collaboration. I'm humbled by the collective action of all Australians in social isolation and the strength that has been demonstrated in carrying the load together. So just remember, not everyone can carry the same weight, but the entire weight has to be carried. Take care.